Welcome to the moment of grace. Today, I want to encourage you to let the peace of God rule in your heart. It's a heart matter we are discussing. And in Colossians and chapter 3, verse 15, and let the peace of God rule in your hearts to the which you are also called in one body and be ye thankful. So God wants his peace to rule in your heart. No matter the war raging in your world, whether on the earth as an entity or in your own um, local um, area or in your own personal aura, maybe you're fighting marital war, you're fighting career war, you're fighting health battle, you're fighting f- financial battle, or you're fighting any kind of war and it's raging and it's like a, 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 the billow of the sea is raging with tumultuous noise around about you. Uh, you might lose a lot of things in the outside. The, the Lord God will have you keep his peace, which he has given you. see, when you got born again, you are given the righteousness of God as covering. But the kingdom of God was deposited in you. And the kingdom of God was deposited as righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. So the peace of God that is in your heart is your security against the raging storm of life. And you know, you keeping your peace solely depends on you. It doesn't even depend on God. It doesn't depend on on Satan. He said, let the peace. So you you see, you're the one that we allow it is in your hand. Why will God have you have his peace reigning in your heart? Because your heart is the wellspring of life. You shouldn't surrender it to chaos. It's the command center of your battle. Don't let the battle you are fighting overrun it. You need to recognize the fact that you are called into the peace of God, even though we are at war with Satan and the kingdom of darkness. And your victory is in you maintaining the peace of God that is resident in your heart. This is where the voice and the virtue of your caller reside. If you look at that scripture, it said, let the peace of God in your heart, to which you are also called. So it has to do with your Christian call. And God calls you unto victory. He called you unto peace, unto joy, or unto lifting. And the voice and the virtue of the caller is necessary in you prosecuting your battle successfully. And it takes the peace of God being maintained in your heart for the voice of the caller and the virtue of him who has called you from, from, from darkness into his marvelous light to reign within you. And you know what? It all starts with the conditioning of your heart. You need to condition your heart. The peace of God. How do I let the peace of God reign in my heart? By conditioning your heart. And that is why I'm going to read the next verse after that verse 15 we just read to you. Verse 16 now said, let, you see, both are let. You, you see, let the peace of God reign in your heart and be you thankful. You say, how do I do that? I say, let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, in all wisdom, not in all folly, not in all argument. Not, you see, People think if they argue the other person um, out of the way, that means the light of God is um, going to manifest within them. Not at all. You can win an argument about doctrine and still be in darkness. You can win an argument about um, the Hebrew origin and the Greek origin of a word and still be in darkness. He said, let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom. Teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs. Singing with grace in your heart to the Lord. So the conditioning of your heart is what will determine how much of the peace of God reigns in your heart. He said you can you should condition your heart with the word of God in teachings, in admonition. You should condition your heart in psalms. You should condition your heart in hymns. You should condition your heart in spiritual song, not carnal song. And singing with grace in your heart, not to yourself, not to your enemy, not to the devil, not about the money you want to make or the car you want to ride, to the Lord. And your heart will be conditioned 
to keep the peace which God has called you into. My prayer for you today is this. That the peace of God will reign in your heart. We garrison your spirit. That you will not lose out in the battle of life. That the peace of God wherewith Christ has called you into will work tremendously for you and not against you. But will work against the storm in your body. It will work against storm in your marriage. It will work against storm in your finance. In the mighty name of of Jesus Christ. My name is Inka Kin today and I like to um, remind you that on the 29th of this month, July 2016, by between the hour of 7 p.m. and 10 p.m. will be Wonders Night and the theme is Made Whole. I love to see you there 312 to 214 London Road RM79NH. The Lord bless you.